Hey guys, it's the 29th. <clears throat> it's a Wednesday and uh, going to keep up with some PEMDAS today. I'm going to run through a few practices. I'm going to leave you with a couple practice here and also send you over to IXL to get this done. Um, I think we've done a good job from what I've seen. Some people checked in on the IXL. Uh, so yesterday, and it looked like for our P, we did pretty pretty good with parentheses. Um, still today to see how you do with the E, the exponent part. Um, but let's remember, next up, we have a multiplication division and addition subtraction. We want to make sure that we keep those two. Those are like two groups. So multiplication division and then addition and subtraction. So for instance, let's look at this problem right here. 4 plus 2 times 3. Well, okay, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18, right? Wrong. What do I have to do first? I've got to do the multiplication and the division before I do any addition and subtraction, even though that's on the left side. So it's not 18 because I'm going to do 2 times 3 first. 2 times 3 is 6. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Make sense? We've got to stay in that order. Let's check another one here. 6 minus 3 times 4 plus 3. Gets kind of tricky, right? A lot of numbers. I got four different numbers. And I got to do, what do I got to do first? Ooh, I got to sneeze first. Oh, in a way. Do you hate when that happens? All right. So I see subtraction, multiplication, addition. We will do addition and subtraction from left to right. And we will do multiplication division from left to right. But we've got to do the multiplication or division before we do any addition or subtraction. So I'm going to do the middle part of this problem first. 3 times 4 is 12. Right? 6 minus 12 plus 3. Well, we're going to get into a negative number. And we're not even there yet, but it doesn't matter. 6 minus 12 minus 6 plus 3 equals negative 3. But still, the steps are what matters. If you follow these in order, you're going to be golden. Right? That's the thing with PEMDAS. If we do it in order, we're going to be set. So I'm going to pause and write a couple up here for us to do together. Then I'm going to send you on your way. All right. Two full problems here. Complex, scary to look at, but you can do it. Four times, parentheses, eight minus three times two, square everything in the parentheses, minus one. First thing I got to do, parentheses. But in that parentheses, do I have subtraction and multiplication? I do. What do I need to do first? Yeah. Three times two. 6. 8 minus 6. What is 8 minus 6? Is 2. Everything in that parenthesis has that exponent to square it. 2 squared. Sorry, I'm going to slide over here. So 4 times 4 minus 1 equals 15. Now look down here. Again, I see minus. I see an exponent and I see addition and then I also see an exponent for the whole parentheses so let's do that exponent first what is 3 squared 3 times 3 is 9 so 12 minus 9 plus 4 squared remember addition and subtraction are on the same level so I can just do it left to right so 12 minus 9 is 3 3 plus 4 is 7 squared is 49. 10 plus 49 equals 59. I am sending you over to IXL to get some stuff done on there. Going to start incorporating all this. And tomorrow we will be looking at a bit of a quiz on PEMDAS. Thursday, sorry, Friday, Thursday, quiz, PEMDAS. See you then.